Warning, warning! If you don't like personal, real-life kind of videos from me, you're probably not gonna like this very much because it's another one of those. And yeah. Click the X while you still can! No, but I, I hadn't made one of these since September-ish. And um, I don't know, like the last couple weeks, some of you have, well, a whole bunch, to be honest, have been saying how have I been since then and everything, and um, I feel, not that I like owe you that, but like that I wanted to share that with you because I care about you and for whatever reason you care about me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. Um, Happy New Year, <laughs> 2014, could not have been more welcomed in my heart. Um, 2013 was, with great ease, the worst year of my life. Um, it was so weird. That's, that's probably the best way that I can explain it. I, I never felt content or safe. I always felt extreme elation or like the deepest, darkest sadnesses. Um, and I never felt like just okay. <laughs> it was always one of the two. Because you know, like really, really good things would happen and then horrible things would happen. And like that's just how it was the whole year. And I've never, I mean, it's not like I in my mind think that because it's a new year that it's gonna be any different, but it does feel good in a weird way to kind of just cast, just just cast it off into the world and say, like, that is done. Um, and, and I hope that it isn't always like that, you know? Um, but yeah. So, how can I put this? Regarding certain things that I talked about in my last video, um, certain truths about certain situations came to light and did really change, um, how I felt about things, and um, not really for the better. And I'm really sad to say that after that video, I, I got worse for a, a while. Um, I kind of thought like that video was kind of like my rock bottom. <laughs> but like, no, <laughs> it was not like that. Um, things got worse for me, and I went into like a darker place. And it was just like, I didn't see any light at all. I didn't, I didn't see anything improving. And it was really scary. And, um, my mom suggested to me that I think about going to therapy. And now I had been to a therapist when I was like 17. I went once because it was suggested to me that I do that. And I'm the kind of person where I'll try things, you know? Um, and at the time, I don't think I was in a good place to be talking to someone about my problems. And, you know, I didn't really click with my therapist, when I, you know, at the time and everything when I was younger. And because I was younger, I, it, I didn't understand that that was just, you know, you don't always click with that person and you can try a new, a new person. I just decided that therapy was not for me and that I was not suited um, to deal with my feelings in that kind of way. And so I had totally written it off, like, no, not for me, not for me. So when my mom suggested that I start going to therapy, um, I was skeptical, but I was so far into that place that I was like, why not? Like, what do I have left to lose at this point? <laughs> Except for my dignity. No, just kidding. That's gone. <laughs> um, but so I started going and I was really nervous and I was really not interested in it, even though I was still going. Um, in the first couple sessions, I did not want to talk about my feelings that much, um, to the point where I would purposely talk about other things so that I didn't really have to deal with my actual feelings and what had happened to me. Um, and, you know, it's funny, like, when things happen to you over time, you kind of 
log them away. You log them away so that you can keep going. Because if you keep thinking about all of the things that happened to you, you would not be able to function as a person. You wouldn't be able to get up in the morning. So in order to be a human being and go about your day, you start putting them away just, just so that you can deal, just so that you can function and work and do your life. And then when you're sitting with someone and you have to unpack all of those little things that you put away all at once, you realize the immensity of like what has happened. Um, which is really scary and it's very raw and it's not fun <laughs> and not enjoyable but um, maybe good though um, to lay it all out like that and be like wow it makes sense that I'm hurting because when it's just happening to you day to day you don't realize how much of an impact that would have on you but when it's like right there you're like oh right that thing that thing right there oh okay that I have been looking not directly at it for so long and I started to really find that it actually helped me a lot because I don't know why I mean my friends and family are really supportive of me and I can talk to them easily about my feelings and stuff. Maybe it was just having someone who's totally unbiased um, tell me things was different. I don't know. I don't know. I started doing yoga too, which also I was really suspicious of, except for my best friend does it and she loves it. So I was like, well, again, I'm the kind of person who's open to new stuff and I'll try it. And I, I have been finding that I like it and it has been helping me. I'm not sure in terms of exercise if it's helping me, but it's kind of nice to be in a room with, you know, 15 people just totally silent and everyone's comfortable with the silence. That's really weird, but like cool weird. I don't know. I was really worried about Christmas and New Year's because it was, you know, my first holiday single since I was 12. <laughs> So I was really nervous about it. Um, and it was a weird holiday, but not for the reason that I thought it would be weird. I thought it would be weird because, you know, I'm experiencing this, these things differently for the first time, but it ended up being weird because we had a whole bunch of deaths in my family all at once. <laughs> um, I mean, I mentioned one in my last video, but then, um, two other people died and our, you know, kind of shared family dog died and it's really weird when people die around the holidays. I mean, it's weird when people die at all, at, at all, when people die, it's sad, but when it happens or anything traumatic happens around the holidays, it's really weird because it feels like it feels like it shouldn't be like that, and I think that that's just because of like media stuff has fed us into like this is how Christmas. Look at how beautiful Christmas is, and oh look the New Year's kiss, and like you should have. I, f I kept feeling like I deserved. Oh, I'm having a weird camera thing. Sorry about that. I kept feeling like I deserved to have all of those beautiful moments, and when they didn't happen, um, because of so many things, it was like what is going on here? Like you know. Um, I mean, it was just, we didn't even start decorating for Christmas until two days before Christmas because we had been so busy with, um, you know, the people in our lives being ill, very ill, that it was just like, you kind of stop caring about everything else. Um, but I really would like to say though that I am so, 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 so incredibly grateful to my friends and family because they took it upon themselves to make sure that I was okay all the time. And <laughs> I'm really grateful for that. And because of them, I had a great Christmas and I, my sister came home from Newfoundland and my best friend came to spend Christmas with me from Montreal and like I'm really really lucky that I have people like that in my life and 
it feels very special and very really good um so I had a, a great holiday <laughs> Yeah, I really didn't think I was going to cry in this video because it's not as, like, sad, I feel, as the last one. <laughs> I don't really make New Year's resolutions. It's not really something I do. I feel like you're just setting yourself up for, like, disaster. Like, no. But I do have goals that I'm actively thinking about, but especially for this year. Um, I want to do more traveling because I did that at the end of... 2013 and I was like whoa I love this I want to go to comic-con again this year I want to um, you know do TCAF I, I want to do a whole bunch of conventions because I love them they're so much fun um, but I want to be go to places I haven't been before as well I want to meet all of you guys that's my little mission to meet a lot of you this year because it's really cool to meet you guys and I just want to say that the comments and support and messages that you guys left on that last, like, video thing, real life thing that I made, please know that I'm not exaggerating at all when I say this. That is one of the biggest reasons that I was able to get through that really low, bad place. Whenever I saw that I was sinking, I would go read <laughs> the comments that you guys left on it and it just amazed me because a lot of the time on the internet and stuff I feel very very just cynical about the world about how people are because there's so many bad things that happen all the time and I always feel like I wish I could do more you know and then you guys are so great and so wonderful and I feel like the luckiest girl to have you in my life um so but yeah, like, please, please know that, that that is one of the biggest things that helped me was all of your words of encouragement that poured in. I can't even describe to you how I, I felt like big hands reached out and caught me from falling, you know? It's so cheesy. I, it doesn't, it's not supposed to be cheesy. I'm, I'm being serious. So thank you for that. Um, one of the things that I noticed a lot of you were commenting on that video is that you're going through similar things that I was. And while that was a little bit reassuring, more than anything else it made me wish that there was something that I could do for you, that I could, like, help you with. Cause, like, I know how shitty that felt and I don't want you to feel that shitty. And, um, so I've kind of been working on, uh, trying to put together a, a list of resources for if you are interested in, you know, seeking counseling or therapy or anything like that. Um, and not just resources. What I was looking for specifically is low cost or free counseling because I don't think it's, you know, I think that everyone should have access to that if they want to and not all of you do and that's really shitty and I want you to be able to so I've been trying to research research to compile that for you um, so if you look in the description of this video that is where I'm gonna be putting it if you have resources that I don't have that are low cost or free please consider commenting with them so I can add them to my list I don't have the biggest list but I'm working on it I'm trying to put stuff together because I know much how much it helped me to talk to somebody and I want that for you if you want to talk to somebody, you know? So if you're interested in that, um, please look in the description box in this video. Um, or if you have a place that I don't have, um, please list it. I'm trying to, you know, international, not just Canada or the US. Um, so yeah, and really like I do feel still like I'm not doing enough, but I, I hope that it, it could help some of you who might need to be helped. That's really important to me. Yeah. I feel like there's more that I do want to say, but like this is just getting long. So I'm going to leave it at that for today, but hopefully maybe I'll come back shortly and talk about more real life stuff because it's different. It's kind of nice to not be ranting about something for once. <laughs> yeah. 
But anyway, yes. So um, I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.